All right, now let's divide some decimals. So let's start by dividing a decimal by a whole number. Let's take this example. Let's divide this decimal, 5.321, by the whole number 3. So this is pretty simple. What we do is we write the numbers under the division sign uh, using long division like we always would. There we go, we're going to use long division. Uh, now we're going to use long division the way you've always used long division. The only difference is we have a decimal in this number here called the dividend. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to line up the decimal and the dividend with the decimal in our final answer. So it's going to be a decimal uh, right above where there is the decimal and the dividend in our final answer. Uh, so we put our decimal right above the decimal and the dividend and we divide using long division. So let's see, how many times does 3 go into 5? 1. Multiply the 1 by the 3 and subtract. 5 minus 3 is 2. We're just going to carry the, uh, or bring down the 3. Then how many times does 3 go into 23? It goes in 7 times. Multiply the 7 times the 3, 21. Subtract and we get 2, we bring down uh, the 2. We're just doing long division now, completely ignoring the decimals once we've put it in our answer. Uh, let's see, we brought down 22, so we get another 7. Uh, how many times does 3 go into 11? Um, 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. And we're going to get a remainder, in this case, of 2. Now what we can do with decimals uh, is we can, if we want to continue this problem, since we have this remainder, uh, what we could do is add a zero up here in our dividend. The reason we can do that is because the number 5.321 is the same exact number as 5.3210. You might remember from your study of decimals that you can add zeros to the end of any decimal and it's still the same number. So if we wanted to, we could continue this problem. Uh, we could add a zero to the end of our decimal, bring that zero down, and continue the long division. How many times does three go into 20? Six times. Uh, multiply the three times the six, we get 18. Subtract and we get two. We have another remainder. We could continue. We could add another zero. Bring the zero down. Uh, how many times does three go into 20? Six times. You could, might be able to tell that this process is just gonna continue. We could continue to add zeros to the end of this decimal, and we would continue to get sixes up here in this problem. Uh, we're going to have to cut this off at some point, so I'm just going to do it right now. Um, we'll say we wrote that final six up in here, and we'll take this as our final answer. I'll just round it. So 5.321 was our dividend, divided by 3 equals our quotient, that number right there. I'm just going to round it. Uh, 1.7737. And just as a note, uh, keep in mind that this division can also be written as a fraction. Uh, the original problem could be given to you like this. 5.321 divided by 3, written as a fraction. Uh, you would do the problem the exact same way and you would get the same answer. Let's make sure I copied that right. Yep. Great. So that's dividing a decimal by a whole number. Now what if you want to divide a decimal by a decimal? Say for example, we wanted to take um, 10.1 divided by uh, 2.41. <laughs> we have two decimals and we want to divide. Well, let's just write out the long division like we normally would. 10.1 divided by 2.41. Now the problem is, if we're using long division, uh, the only way we're going to be able to do this is if that number right there, uh, the number that we're dividing by, is a whole number. 
like we did up in this problem. This number right here was a whole number, so we could do this. Uh, 2.41 is not a whole number, but we need it to be a whole number uh, in order to do this long division. So the trick that you may remember is what you can do is you can move this decimal place, and we move that decimal place two units to the right. Now we have a number uh, out here, 241. That's a whole number, and we can divide by it. But that's not legal. We can't just move decimal places wherever we want. If we're going to move the decimal place out here, we have to move the decimal place in here. So we moved it by two units, so we're going to move this one by two units, fill in any spaces with zeros, and you have a new problem. You have 241, I'm sorry, uh, 10, 10 divided by 241. So these two problems are the exact same thing. Now this one we can do. Uh, if I had left enough space to do it, we could do it. 